I am nearing completion of my arcade cabinet, reverting a NFL Blitz 99 arcade cabinet, four player cabinet, into my own custom designed uh, arcade cabinet filled with uh, 3,149 games or something ridiculous like that. And it, it's been a lot of work. A lot of things that uh, came up that I wasn't expecting, a lot of troubleshooting and figuring things out that I wasn't planning on. And uh, at times I have wanted to pull my hair out. It's been interesting building this cabinet and sharing about it online on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. A lot of people have said, wow, that's really cool. And then a few other people have said, oh, I've always wanted to do that. Well, here's a few things you should know before you build your own arcade cabinet. I was uh, fortunate enough to get a really good deal on this NFL Blitz cabinet. Uh, so the nice thing for me in terms of building a cabinet was uh, the shell was basically already there. So all I've had to do is build the joystick console and adjust things for the LED monitor. Because there used to be a CRT monitor in there which was massive and huge and anytime I power up the NFL Blitz 99 my hydro bill would just be ticking away. And I swear I had some form of radiation for playing for 15 minutes in front of that thing. One of the biggest things though is knowing the right people to help you out with this. So I have a, a buddy on my hockey team who's an electrician and he was able to come in. He helped uh, immensely in terms of wiring it properly. Uh, there's two uh, power sources that you have inside the cabinet. You have like a computer uh, power source and then you have an arcade power source. And so he was instrumental in terms of uh, making sure the right voltage was going in the right direction and that I wasn't going to uh, electrocute myself or anyone that played the cabinet. My father-in-law, a woodworker, uh, you need to make sure you have the right dimensions and the right layout. Uh, there's minor adjustments that I've had to make because I didn't think things through entirely. Um, the old NFL Blitz joystick console. Um, I measured off of that and built a little bit bigger off the old one. Um, but what I didn't take into effect is that in the NFL Blitz cabinet is the joysticks on the sides. Um, they were straight up and down uh, underneath. Uh, so there's like a little pack that goes underneath for the joystick console. Those are straight on the Blitz ones. But I wanted to turn it so that when you're playing you can turn to the side and have a better angle of the, uh, the monitor. And when I did that, you stick out a little bit further on the left or the right. And so I've had to make some minor cuts to uh, adjust for those angles. The wire management of this thing. My goodness, with a JAMA harness, there's two JAMA harnesses in this and a gazillion wires going everywhere. Uh, so I, I have plugged everything in. I have played the arcade cabinet. Uh, it works beautifully. It's amazing. It's so simple and easy to use, but um, I had like stuff taped here and there. It was all very temporary and then just figuring out where everything goes and how it gets there uh, Especially the ground wires. There's everything is connected to a ground wire and it's a pain in the butt We're redoing the joystick console and it's gonna look fan flippantastic because Debbie and I we figured out um, The cloth I was using for the poly was probably leaving a little bit of lint um, like very tiny trace amounts and so it was uh, a little bit rough to touch and the polish is like a plastic finish almost a plastic sheen on top of the wood and so we um, did a little bit of steel wool got it all it's all soft again uh, so we got any of that that lint that was on there and now we're putting on a couple new uh, cases of poly so it feels very good to be in my office right now taking a deep breath and enjoying the smell of polyurethane My father-in-law asked me, he said, so what, what are you getting out of all this? What, what is the end goal per se? And one of the things that's happened along the way with this arcade cabinet and posting it and sharing the progress of it, people have said to me, oh, I've thought about doing that a long time ago. And it's almost as if they're trying to take like this high and mighty road of, well, that's cool that you're doing it, but I thought of that way before you did. 
you know what? Cool. The thing is, you didn't do it and I'm doing it. That's one of the best things that I've learned about this whole process is so many people have had the idea or the want to do it, but they've not had the willingness. So having one of the things I've learned in all of my, my work and my time and my research, everything, an idea is no better than a fart in the wind. It's, it's that simple. You have an idea to do something amazing, good for you. So do every freaking person in the world. I'm glad that you have an idea, but I wanna know what are you gonna do with it? I started up film ads almost a decade ago. If you don't know what it is, here's a quick synopsis. I work with independently owned movie theaters in BC and Alberta, offering pre-show advertising and showtime advertising, those are like preview trailer style ads, before all their movies. So what I do is I either create ads for local businesses, or I'm like a broker for provincial and national ad sales. I have had many people along my, my travels, along my way, tell me, oh, I thought about doing theater advertising a long time ago. But you know what? They never did it. They, it was just an idea. You know, I might not be the best. I not, might not be making the greatest custom arcade cabinet. But the thing is, I am doing it. I am paving the way for myself. I don't care what other people think. I care about the people that have invested their time and their energy or have an, a vested interest in what I am doing. Uh, if they have something they want to say and they want to let me know and, and I trust and I accept their, their constructive criticism, yes, of course, I want to hear it. I want to know what you, what you think. I want to know what, but for just the general public out there that tell me things like, oh, I, wanted, I was going to do that a long time ago, but you never did it, go do it. Just stop. You know, your idea is a fart in the wind until you're willing to put the boots to the ground. There's my rant, there's my rave. I'm having a good time. I would say 90% of the time that I'm putting this together, but when the, the finished product is all done and I'm able to sit down and play a four player game with my kids or have some buddies from hockey over or have some good friends over with some beer and some barbecue, it's gonna be more than worth it. I'm gonna look back at the day-to-day -day struggle and frustration with it and the day-to-day -day successes of this and know that these hands built that machine and the people that I trust and are on my inner circle, they help me out and it's gonna feel good. It's gonna feel really good knowing that the Hawkade uh, came from a good line of people. So I'm Matthew Anthony Hawkins. Today's a Wednesday. I hope you have a great rest of the week and we'll see you next time. Cheers.